In this Excel video, I will show you how to use the Excel navigation panel basically as a table of contents for your workbook. Let's get started. So here I am in Microsoft Excel and I have a workbook with multiple tabs. We've got three that you can see and there's one that's hidden. And of course, I can switch between these spreadsheets just by clicking down here on the tabs. But sometimes it's even more useful and helpful to instead use the navigation pane. You can get to it by clicking on view and navigation and it opens this pane or panel at the right and this gives you a good overview of everything that's in the workbook. Each spreadsheet is listed with its name and typically you'll also get one or more data ranges that are listed. So in this case on the food sales spreadsheet we have the sales data data set. In nutrients and food we have another data set. What about player data? I have three different sets of data and I can just click to jump to those parts of the spreadsheet and the workbook. So that's one of the nice things about this navigation pane is you can just click on what you want to work on and it jumps to that specific part of the workbook. So that is better in some ways than clicking down here and then navigating to the specific part of the workbook or spreadsheet that you want to work on. In this case, I can just click on the exact data set that I want to go to. So this navigation pane, it really does help users to find and organize spreadsheets, tables, and named ranges. And this is especially useful in workbooks that have a lot of tabs or really large data sets. It is especially helpful in those cases. In addition to just looking and seeing all of the spreadsheets and the named ranges and data sets that you're working with, notice that there's also a search bar here. So imagine an even more complex and large workbook. You could just click and do a search for nutrients and it would show only the relevant results. I'm going to X out of my search there. Now there are a couple of final things you need to know about the navigation pane. One is if you make changes here in the workbook, let's say you reorder the tabs here, those changes are reflected here in the navigation pane as well. So if I want player data to be the first of the worksheets in my workbook, click and drag and it changes it here in the navigation pane as well. What if I add a new spreadsheet to this workbook? If I click on the plus sign, I get a new sheet, I can right click to rename it and it's automatically added here at the right. The last thing you need to know is that the navigation pane even shows shows hidden spreadsheets. So this future plans spreadsheet isn't even listed here because it's hidden. In order to show it, I would need to right click and choose unhide and then select the hidden sheet and click to unhide it. Or I could just use the navigation pane. At a glance, I can see that future plans is hidden. If I right click on it, I can choose show and now it appears and you can see my future plans. Of course, some of these are in the past. If I choose to hide it again, I can just right click here and choose hide. Similarly, I can also rename any of the spreadsheets from here. Right click, rename, and I can adjust the name. And that change is also reflected down here. So all things considered, I think this navigation pane really is a very handy way to experience your workbooks, especially if they are big, complicated workbooks. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support the channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member. But you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I need to say thank you to my fantastic Super Techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel and help me to keep this going. I couldn't do it without your help. 